What is up guys and welcome back to another Mythic Heroes video. In today's video we are going to be doing a guide of the general marketplace. If this video gets 6.9 likes I'll do a guide for the other marketplaces as well. But with all that said, let's hop straight into it. So as a bit of a heads up, this account is in late game so that's why this my marketplace might look a little bit different than yours and why some of the priorities might be a little bit different as well but i'll try and go over all of that in this video so for the very first thing is you obviously want to grab the free items and then moving on down even though i have a lot of gold i'll skip the um faith and the divinity gems and the soul seals because i have enough of them already i think it's worth it to buy the appraisal scrolls for gold the restoration elixir for gold the common muse gifts for gold the refining stones for gold and then the experience and stardust for gold as well if you don't have as much gold you can feel free to skip out on the refining stones and the um, muse gifts as well and moving on i uh, for the diamond cost items I will be avoiding the experience and the stardust base amounts for diamonds. I will buy this one since it, oh, the booster since it's discounted and my cube is built pretty well. I'm not that big a spender so I will be skipping out on the fate crystals and currently I'm in a bit of a diamond pinch so I will be skipping out on buying the tomb maps and the standard summon scrolls as well. However. If I wasn't in this bit of a diamond pinch and I could afford more stuff, I'd definitely grab those two. I think they're pretty good value. I will be buying this heroic treasure fragments as well for gold as they give you blue antique shards and I believe them to be quite useful as those are going to be your bottleneck. I'm going to be avoiding the luminous pearls because I quite frankly don't think they're that worth it. And my muses are kind of developed and my main bottleneck is water so I will be avoiding the rare muse gifts for diamond. For essence, if it's fighter or mage essence I will buy them but since it's, uh, if it's support or tank essence I won't be buying them just because I'm mostly working on my fighters and my mages right now. The SR Hero Shards for Diamonds, I think this is worth. The Cube's definitely worth it. And if you like Skin Shards, I think that the Skin Shards and the Privilege Vouchers are worth them. But if you're not a big fan of Skin Shards or the Skins in the game, then for sure skip the Skin Voucher. And if you have a little bit of excess Diamonds, I think it's worth it to buy the Privilege Voucher. But if you're free to play, it might still be worth considering getting it as there is like a 0.25% chance of using one of these to unlock the heavenly gift. But if you're not that lucky, it could take you 500 of these privilege vouchers to get it. And I think that's up for you to decide if you'd like that or not. The exploration coins and the antique development chests, I think are both worth a skip because they're pretty expensive diamond cost wise and for that reason, I will be skipping out on them as you get a decent amount just by playing the game. Now for the members only items, this shop is only available if you have the membership, which I think is worth it. If you're able to fork out $3 a month. Um, moving on, I think for this shop, I believe the UR Hero Shards are worth it. And the Pure Essence, if it's Mage or Fighter, I will buy it. And then last but not least, the Infinity Soul Seals I think are worth it. I don't think this is quite as worth it. If you're not going to be uh, dust capped, I believe the Temple Maps aren't worth it if you're not um, spending a lot of money on the game as it's 750 diamonds which is a little bit expensive and the Refining Stones I don't think are worth it because it's just more rng and i'll get into that in a separate video now the inspiration water it can be it, it's debatable i personally don't think that this is that worth it since my i'm at the point where i'm comfortable with what my muses are at and i don't frankly have the extra diamonds to spare on this 
but uh, yeah that's for the general marketplace and now let's hop into the guild marketplace so for the guild marketplace i will buy the muse gift or the um, yellow muse gifts the luminous pearls and the dust chest um usually that's pretty much all i can afford since i skip out on gvg on guild v guild a couple of times but um if i had extra stuff to spare i might buy discounted um earth runes dark runes and air runes and then discounted yasa and discounted axe and shields but uh, yeah and then for the pantheon shop i think the one thing that everyone should buy in the shop would be the inherited divinity doesn't matter what point in the game you're at you're pretty much always going to need these so buy them every chance you get and then after that i usually get enough to buy both of these crown of splendors i think they're worth it others may disagree and then i also have enough on after buying both crown of splendors and the inherited divinity usually to also buy out all of these acorn of hearts because my muses are kind of developed and they give um, one of the muses gives you a plus 25 percent i believe um, boost to pantheon coins so i'll usually buy that out if you're high enough vip you can usually also afford to buy out all of the ascension hammers but i'm not that high vip on this account so that's a skip i usually have a ton of faith so i'll avoid faith or I'll, avo or I'll avoid buying faith in this shop and i have a good chunk of divinity gems saved up as well so i'll usually skip out on all the divinity gems and then as for the heroes i think you should avoid buying any of the heroes in this shop unless you really 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 need one to, if you're um level capped but even in that case i think unless it's like maybe freya or naga i or western queen just like some really meta heroes i think i'd maybe consider buying those if you're if um they're the ones that are getting you level capped but other than that i think you should just for the most part avoid buying any of the heroes in this shop um for the arena market it's going to depend on what your um income is for the um, mastermind arena ranking for what your um, arena coin income is going to look like so i can usually afford to buy out the entire top row and then also save up for a ur and then an ssr but it's mostly going to vary depending on what your um income ranking is so i think no matter who you are or what point of the game you're at you should always buy these cube fragments because they're pretty beneficial and then your inspiration water if you're free to play is going to be capped just from mostly this shop and the void portal shop so i think it's worth it to grab these and then moving on um if you're a whale and you can afford urs I think it's or if you're um, a late game player and you can afford URs and you already have most of these um, SSRs built I think you should um, go for either Oda or Amaterasu or Iset but other than that um, if you already have all of those built then you might be able to consider going for another UR However, if you're early on or you don't have all of most of the key SSRs built, I think you should go for either Archimedes, Odin, Hela, um, Susano, Medusa, etc. I personally am not using Susano on this account, so that's why I don't um, have him maxed. And that's also why I don't plan on buying him once i get enough um income or once i get enough arena coins i will be buying in oda nobunaga from this shop and i'll probably save up for um then once i buy oda i'll probably save up enough so i can buy the um, standard summon scrolls and the tomb maps and then wait for the shop to reset to buy oda again for the tribute shop i think buying the tomb maps is pretty decent 
not that big a fan of buying the SR Hero Shards, and I think you could definitely skip out on buying the SSR Hero Shards or the UR Hero Shards because they're just pretty expensive. Um, for the Prestige Shop, it's going to depend on what you um, mostly need. As you can see here, I have a crap ton of Divinity Chests, of almost 400, so I don't buy those anymore. And then I have a good chunk of Soul Seal Chests as well, so that's why I'm not buying those. But if you need Divinity or Divinity Chests, I think you could definitely look into buying um, these, as I think they're not too bad. Um, and then I'm probably just going to mostly keep buying out these Pirate Treasure Fragments, because they give you um or they give you chances of dropping purple um antique fragments and blue antique fragments and i do need quite a bit of those however you could also look at getting the appraisers treasure fragments if you are in desperate need of elixirs and um, antique scrolls but um i'm not quite in that desperate need yet so i avoiding buying that out if you want you could buy the beast seals but i'm fine just slowly waiting and slowly accumulating those over time and then i also skip out on buying the artifact custom chests and the rune custom chests as i think they're a bit too expensive and now finally moving on to the last shop in this area the jade shop so the way to get these jade token so there's the super luster jade and then the ultra luster jade so the way you get these is whenever you have a hero at max ascension so infinity 3 or 27 total copies of a hero anytime you pull duplicates of that hero you can um it'll tell you to go over to the shop and then you can exchange that extra copy of a hero for if you pull like a ur hero you can exchange the extra copy for 10 Ultra Luster Jade, if it's an SSR hero, you will be able to exchange that extra hero copy for 10 Super Luster Jade tokens. It's mostly just going to depend on how many or how how many total URs you have and how much you're whaling. But I have 70 Super Luster Jade tokens, so I will be buying out both of these SSR custom vouchers. I'm not that big a fan of buying the Inherited Divinity because I have a reasonable stash already saved for the heroes that I would like to build. So that's why I'm not buying it, but if you um, are in desperate need of it, I don't think it's that bad value a deal. I definitely avoid buying the Refining Stones, and unless you're a whale, pretty much avoid buying the Factional SR Custom Vouchers or the Restoration Elixir Chests. And I'd also avoid buying the royal treasure fragments as um if you're not that um built up on your um jade income because while these um antique fragments can help boost your account's power quite a bit it's rng and you might not necessarily get what you want from them and then for these sword fragments uh i'd personally advise buying these for most people unless you are a whale and it, your um, super luster jade income is high enough to where you can afford to buy out all of the SSR vouchers and the inherited divinity, it might be worth considering buying these until you have enough to get the full set bonus. They'll only give you 15 fragments of purchase, so you would need to get 60 total fragments of each of these swords to get the set bonus and uh, yeah that pretty much covers it for the super luster jade and then for the ultra luster jade i think it's if you once you get enough uh, to buy the ur voucher i think you could definitely buy that and then maybe the infinity soul seal as well not that big a fan of the um sword fragments as you would need 80 of these fragments in total to get one copy of this antique and it's pretty expensive and then celestial treasure fragments same thing with the royal treasure fragments it's pretty in rng and if you're a whale you already have a decent income of these chests through the heavenly gift 
So uh, yeah, that pretty much covers it for this shop guide. I hope it helps and I'll catch you guys in the next one.